Hey guys and welcome to Cape Town International Airport. We're currently at the exec jet hangar where the Cessna 182 is parked, which we will be taking to Plattenberg Bay. We fueled her up, we got about four and a half hours endurance and we're gonna be heading out towards the east to Black Oyster Catcher for lunch and then on to Stanley's Island, which is one of the only privately owned islands in South Africa um, with a landing strip on it. So that's gonna be super cool. We just have to file a flight plan now um, since we're flying out of the international airport and uh, we'll show you the routing when we're inside. Let's go. sure that we have four and a half hours of fuel. We need to make sure that these are closed correctly. So last time I flew at Cape Town International, I had two pop tires on the decathlon, so now I'm extra wary on these tires. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to file a flight plan with you at um, one, two, three, zero. Four nine three. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. So we're going to depart today from Cape Town International Airport. So we're here, and the uh, final destination for today will be Plattenberg Bay. But well, we're not going to go there directly because first we want to have a break at a very small airfield called Black Oyster Catcher. So to get to Black Oyster Catcher, we first depart in a easterly direction. And then we need to cross the escarpment here. So we're going to be flying over St. Laurie's Pass. And then from St. Laurie's Pass, we're going to go approximately to here, where the Black Oyster uh, Catcher airstrip is. We found a flight plan, and it's also noteworthy, that this is the Langebaan uh, TMA. So that's the uh, military zone. So before entering here, we need to seek permission from the uh, um, Air Force here for us to, uh, to land here. Um, we're going to have a short break there. After the break, we want to uh, head south because we want to pass Africa's southernmost point, which is called Cape Agulhas. So Cape Agulhas is f the most southern point of uh, the whole of Africa. And then we're going to fly coastwise all the way to Plattenberg Bay, but that's uh, later this afternoon. Um, this uh, is a map in a um, one in a million scale. So it looks quite a long distance, but it's not. This is approximately 40 minutes flying. And the, uh, the second part of our journey is approximately uh, one hour and 15 minutes. So, that's it. Let's get going. QNH1012. No sig. Confirm Cape Town International Airport information, Quebec, on first contact. Cape Town Tower, good afternoon. This is your Papa Julia Bravo. Papa Julia Bravo, good day. Papa Julia Bravo at the Executive Hangar. Uh, information Quebec 4 PB for flights as per flight plan to Black Oyster Catcher. Papa Julia Bravo, start approved. QNH is 1012, runway 01 is in use. Your Squawk is 4527, report ready for taxi. Squawk 4527, QNH 1012, uh, start approved, rule report ready for taxi. Papa Julia Bravo. Clear! Air yeah. conditioning is also turned on. <laughs> yeah. Papa Julia Bravo, ready for taxi. Papa Julia Bravo, taxi Zulu Bravo, holding point runway 01. Taxi Zulu Bravo, holding point 01. Papa Julia Bravo. That's buggy! Yoohoo! So we're on time on our flight plan as well. Virginia Bravo, cross the threshold of 01 and wait on taxiway Delta 5, report your run-ups complete. Copy, we'll cross uh, the threshold for Delta 5 and uh, we'll call you when details complete. Thank you, Papa Julie Bravo.
temperatures, pressures are looking good. We have enough fuel, amps are charging. Mixture full rich, keeping this uh, pitch setting for takeoff. 10 degree flaps. Everything is checked, seat belts are on. Doors are locked. That side as well? Yeah. Uh, Bravo, uh, line up runway zero one full length. Lining up runway zero one full length, Papa Jelly Bala. Okay, Papa Judith Bell, the heavy is about four miles north of Cape Town. Caution the white turbulence on departure. The wind is three three zero geese at one five knots. Right now, maintain one thousand five hundred feet, route for Somerset West. Reports on our bound you clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, uh, right hand turn out and maintain one thousand five hundred feet towards Somerset West. Uh, we'll report zone outbound and uh, we'll keep caution for the wake turbulence. Papa Julie Bravo. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Airspeed rising. Papa Julie Bravo, wind safe, turn right. Turning right, Papa Julie Bravo. Keep it straight, after takeoff check looks, brakes checked, undercarriage fixed, mixture set, power set, we're gonna pull this one back, top of green farm. Lapped up, landing lights out, got it. 85 miles an hour, continue climb, and then towards Somerset West. Let's bring one, Tibra, one, two, four, six, one, eight. One, two, four, this way, Papa Julia Bravo. So, we just left the uh, Cape Town CTR towards the east. It was nice and busy in the uh, in the airspace over there. We're passing Somerset West, where we're staying, where our Airbnb is. That is actually the Heldeberg Mountain that we've climbed up a couple of times. We've even been to the absolute top, which is cool. And uh, now we're just climbing to 2,000 to stay under the uh, Cape Town TMA. We're broadcasting TBA here, which is a 124.8 frequency for other traffic, watching out for other helicopters and all that. And uh, we'll cross the Sir Lowry Pass, fly over, have a beautiful view over the dam, and then uh, head eastwards. Mom, once we get over the uh, the mountain pass, I'm gonna do a sharp right turn, okay? So not that I uh, okay. scare you. So, keep this heading? Uh, we're gonna head that way. So, we are doing a 140 knots ground speed with a uh, airspeed of 115 uh, approximately. We did the trip once in a savanna in the uh, Tango Papa Tango. And we had a headwind, and I think we had a ground speed of 60 knots <laughs> max. So it took us, I think, eight, eight hours to get from Plant to Winterhofel, which in uh, 172 does three hours. So, uh, yeah, it was quite slow. I mean, you were our building, so I guess it was very favorable for our building. Overberg Tower, good afternoon. Papa Juliet Bravo. This is the Papa Julie Bravo. I've got no traffic in the eastern side. If you are routing towards Stolbay, you can do so. QNH on my side is 1010. Copied. We have the QNH 1010 routing to Black Oyster Catcher. As per flight plan, uh, we are transmitting 4527 on the transponder. Papa Julie Bravo, thanks. Copy that. Uh, routine for Black Oyster Catcher. We had a chat this morning and uh, I see your score intermittently there towards that minor side. Give me a call. Uh, it's ready to descend for Black Oyster Catcher. 
copied. We'll give you a call uh, to descend for Black Oyster Catcher. Yeah, we were just behind these mountains, so hopefully you can hear us better now. Papa Julia Bravo. Papa Julia Bravo, no problem, thank you. And this big two short clear at Black Oyster Catcher. especially with the restricted area at Overbear. G gave them a call on the ground to see if the restricted area, if they are active or not, um, so that they also know that I'm coming next to having the flight plan filed. So we're flying through the FAR 147, and uh, once we get a bit closer to Black Oyster Catcher, we will descend for our landing there. As you can see, it's uh, runway 1432. Uh, most likely the uh, 32 will be in use, but we'll fly over. Uh, due to insurance reasons, we uh, must do a uh, precautionary because it's not a, what's it called? It's not a registered, registered airfield. We're going to do a precautionary on the western side. There are uh, power lines, but they have white balls on it, so we have to make sure that we look out for that. And uh, knowing that it's Black Oyster Catcher, there will be probably quite a bit of wind. And Overberg Tower, Papa Julia Bravo, about 10 miles out. Uh, request descent for landing Black Oyster Catcher. Papa Julia Bravo, no report of traffic for your descent for Black Oyster Catcher. Report joining the circuit at uh, Black Oyster Catcher. Overbank Tower, Papa Julia Bravo is over at the field, 1,500 feet, descending on the dead side uh, to join for a left down runway 32, runway inspection. Thank you, copy that. The wind is this side, 180 about 12 knots, and you can give me a call sight from the ground. Copy it, Wilco, Papa Julia Bravo. side can check for a windsock and for uh, power lines. A few cows, but they are off the runway, yeah? So. Okay, then I'll do a teardrop here. Yeah. Nice and windy, a slight crosswind from the left. Mom, you still comfy? Mom, how did you like the flight? Mm. It was so beautiful. The views were amazing. And you really. know, you know the Cessna 182 pretty well. Yeah, I do because we used to have one when we lived in Tanzania. So we were going on safaris and to Zanzibar. So I know it very well. Love to sit in the back, take pictures, filming, and just enjoy the beautiful view. Love it. Lekker, lekker! <laughs> what a weird world. 